good thing, the fantastic thing with the foodie ninja. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen. Thanks so much for joining me today. As promised in my last previous ninja foodie um, unboxing, today I'm actually going to be doing a slow cooked lamb shank recipe. Cook it for six hours and then the last hour I'm going to, or the last say 20 minutes, I'm going to pressure cook it just to make sure that the lamb is cooked all the way through. Now this is fantastic for those of you who are like me, who have a work-life balance, you know, long work hours, long work days and really need a quick, easy um, meal that doesn't need hours that can be done um, really quickly. Great thing about the Ninja Foodie is the pressure cooking. I found that if I don't have time in the morning to prep all the ingredients, the pressure cooking will do it in a fraction of the time. So essentially I made like a Hungarian goulash, I did it in less than 40 minutes and the meat was falling apart in the actual pressure cooker as opposed to slow cooking which you'll need you know anywhere between six to eight hours of slow cooking to get the same result so uh, just quick reminder I'm a home cook so everyone has their own take on different things but this is my particular lamb shank recipe and I hope you enjoy I'll also put this recipe up on hellohelen.co um, so you guys can check that out and you can also follow me on Instagram I've also got a TikTok account now. yeah don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment, drop me a line. That'll really help out my channel in delivering more content to you guys. Um, I should have also mentioned that I am gonna make a sweet potato mash to put these lamb shanks on. So let's check it out. It'll be a couple of hours later before um, I'll show you the result. We are gonna first sear and saute the shank. So I like to seal, sear and saute the shank. So we'll do that. We'll put it in here. We'll set it up on high. We'll go start. So that'll just heat up the actual plate um, hot pot on the inside. And I'm gonna chuck in some olive oil. Nice. You're peeing up, I like a lot of olive oil. And then I might just go through my ingredients. So I've got uh, 200 ml of beef stock, some salt, bread wine, salt and pepper, some chopped tomatoes, obviously the shanks. So we've got them there and chopped onion and some sprigs that I've got from my garden of rosemary. Stop, we're just gonna see the shanks. Now what I'm going to do is actually switch it over to slow cook. I'm just going to put it for four and a half hours and the last, I know I said six, but I've changed my mind. I'll just do four and a half hours um, and see how we go. Cause then I can always put it on the pressure um, and it'll fast cook everything from there. So the pressure cooker lid or the slow cooking lid, change the vent so that it's on seal. Um, so it keeps the juices nice and in and go start. Okay, so we are about halfway now. And as you can see, the meat has really come off the bone. Still needs a little bit more to go. So now I'm just gonna put it on pressure cook for the next 40 minutes to really get it to fall apart. Here I'm just cooking some sweet potato. Mash these all up and then just add uh, olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, um, and a bit of paprika. I've just put in a bit of parmesan and gra gradano cheese on top, just for a bit of extra flavor and tang, but I've added also parsley uh, to the mix. Basically, just add this into the oven um, for about an extra 20 minutes, um, and I'll be able to serve the mash um, as a bed, and then put on top the lamb shanks. 40 minutes later, the pressure cooker has gone into keep warm mode so it's finished it's been about 14 minutes so now what we're going to do because you can't just open it you've got a pressure release it'll do its own little thing for a while it'll just release steam we'll come back after the pressure has uh deflated the sweet potato mash has just finished 20 minutes later in the oven it's looking pretty good i'm now just going to serve it on a plate um, as a base to the lamb shanks and you can serve it also with a side salad as well um, so we're just going to do that and now we're just going to check out the shanks and see how they look 
Checking out the shanks, it's been four and a half hours plus another 40 minutes of pressure cooking and it is looking amazing. The meat is falling off the bone. Uh, guys, this is such an easy recipe to make. Uh, you know, coming home, you've got something served up pretty fast. Uh, you can pressure cook it for a lot longer so you can get that quicker. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a like and comment and um, the recipe can be found on hellohelen.co. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Thanks guys. Bye.